This is Turkey Bend in East Houston. This unassuming warehouse may not catch your eye at first glance, but a few hundred feet behind us might be the coolest piece of industrial decay in the city, and one that's at the core of a massive revamp of Buffalo Bayou through the East End. A victim of both changes in the nature of freight shipping and the rapidly evolving cityscape, let's explore this fascinating hidden gem in what was once the heart of Houston's ship channel, and examine the changes coming here and to the whole East End over the next decade. All right, let's start with just how unique of a site this is. Behind this wall are bays and bays of warehouse adjoined by an office on navigation. Truly no more remarkable than any of the other warehouses around here. But to see the cool part, we have to go underground. Spiraling down into the floor is a ramped descent leading to a tunnel that ventures under a double railroad track opening at dock level. A hundred years ago, this was directly on the shore of Buffalo Bayou. The Oxbow Inlet you see today was man-made, created by cutting through a bend in the bayou's path and connecting the resulting island via land bridge. For over a hundred years, this inlet was at the center of Houston's ship channel and industrial east end. The center of Houston's ship channel has shifted further and further east since nearly the founding of the city. In 1836, barges would dock all the way up in downtown, where subgrade building levels connected directly to the docks. But the small cotton barges that could reach downtown are long gone. The channel was deepened and widened in the 1910s and 1930s, the latter of which enabled full-size ships to traverse it. Well, most of it. The portion that can accept, say, an oil tanker ends about a mile downstream of here at Constitution Bend. The 610 East Bridge over the channel tops out at 135 feet above the water, but the bridges further inland only clear about 50. It should be noted that barges can and do still make it this far up the ship channel. Now back down to the dock. The dock level here is nearly triple the area of the warehouse above, and is characterized by two massive overhead cranes, elements essential to the functioning of the ship channel, but nearly invisible to the public. Even mild topography like this can be hard to find in Houston, and the fact that this site exists essentially undisturbed from its industrial roots makes it an asset long needing visibility. It's also at the perfect location for a site like this to be redeveloped. It's near existing residential neighborhoods and one of the fastest gentrifying areas of the city. One that has seen industrial sites repurposed for all kinds of things. Over the next decade, the East End's post-industrial blight will become the unique fabric by which Houston grows from inside. Now let's talk about the plan for Turkey Bend. The Buffalo Bayou Partnership, whose monumental improvements west of downtown created one of the best green spaces in Houston, is implementing a master plan connecting their existing network of trails all the way here. Destined to become a multi-purpose public space, the barge terminal already has the framework for public gatherings and a setting unrivaled in other Houston venues. The site will feature a boat launch for paddlers, in addition to the event shed and outdoor wharf. Note the whole inlet will be protected from ship channel traffic. I had the opportunity to talk with Ian Rosenberg, Capital Projects Director for the Buffalo Bayou Partnership, about the plan for Turkey Bend. You know, to activate it, you need your, your basic core infrastructure, restrooms and, and things like that. And so we have plans to develop that above the floodplain. And then we have plans activated below the floodplain. So food and beverage and, and things like that would be done through, you know, food trucks and a lot of nature, a lot of nature, a lot about stormwater, a lot about activation events, art, um, parties. It's also our main boat operations. So we see a lot of canoe, kayak pours and a lot of things leaving the site. Rice crew is interested in having uh, their, their facility there. And then a permanent yeah. rental. But it, it's definitely a seven day a week type site that isn't a venue. It's not just a rental venue. It's really a public park. It's just a cool site. I mean, there's nothing I don't like about it. It's a really unique one-off opportunity. I think when we couple it with the, the bridge and the north side sewage treatment plant, this is going to be something for the fifth ward, the second ward, the city of Houston, really to celebrate. I think it'll be an international type destination. We're just starting this, this path and this process. It'll be an amazing asset, an opportunity just from an education standpoint, also utilizing the site to preserve a lot of the character of the community. You know, there's a lot of graffiti at the site. How do we do that? Old industrial infrastructure. Despite the fact that the ship channel has been instrumental in the creation of modern Houston, Sites like this are tragically underrepresented in the city's points of interest. This is in part because the ship channel is very much still active, and also because the kind of development it attracted generally repelled tourists. But like all of Houston, 
the East End is changing. I'm excited to see what becomes of this and the rest of the East End over the coming years. It has the opportunity to become a fascinating neighborhood the likes of which Houston has never seen. What a time to be alive. Scott Daly here. Thanks for coming with me to Turkey Bend. Subscribe to the channel and join me on the next adventure.